In this problem we have to factor all numbers having three equal digits as a product of two two-digit numbers. Notice that the condition that neither a nor c is zero just means that they are real two-digit numbers. Let's write out all, all of the possibilities Uh, notice that all of them are multiples of the same number 111. And uh, 111 can be factored as a product of two primes, 37 times 3. So any of uh, these nine numbers, if you express them as, as this product, either AB or CD should be divisible by 37. And there are only two two-digit numbers divisible by 37, so uh, it's 37 itself and also 74. Let's write all the products. 3 times 37. This one is 6 times. 9 times, 12 times, 15 times, 18 times, 21 times, 37. And those which are even can be also expressed as something times 74. Here we should drop all those factorizations which involve one-digit numbers. So all these go away. And we also should drop those which involve two equal uh, digits because uh, uh, different letters represent different numbers. So this one goes away, same thing here, same thing here, and we are left with four different answers. Or if we are willing to exchange the order of the multiples, we have altogether eight different answers. Here we have to build a magic square having eight different sums adding up to the same number and we'll be using the three given numbers. Let's introduce some variable. Let's denote this by x. In that case, second column has 26 plus x and any other column should also have it here the only number I can write here in order to add up to 26 plus x is 8 now I'm considering both the diagonals 8 plus 11 is 19 so I should have x plus 7 in order to add up and in the second diagonal it's 29, so I should have x minus 3. In this first row, let's uh, write one equality. On one side, it should be 26 plus x. On the other side, it's x minus 3 plus 15 plus x plus 7. And uh, we have two x's plus 19. These x cancels out with one of these x's and I'm left with x equals to 7, which means that all my sums should be equal to 33. And now let's redraw this once again. 
so it's now 15, 11, this is 7, then it's 18, 8, this would be 4, 14, and in each of the verticals we get 21, 14 plus 18 is 32, plus 1 makes 33, and finally I can also check here, and they are all equal. In this problem 3 for grade 5, we have a square, and we have to cut it into many obtuse triangles, an obtuse being some triangle having one angle larger than 90 degrees. Our first step is cut square into two equal isosceles triangles. Then I can draw this axis of symmetry or a height and I pick any any point here. Now we simply connect this point with all the vertices of the enclosing triangle. And we do similar construction on the other side. Notice that this picture is symmetric. So this angle is epsilon and this is also epsilon. Therefore, since this angle should also be epsilon, then both angle on this side and on the other side is 90 degrees plus epsilon. And because all these three angles here add up to 360, then the third remaining angle under here is 360 minus 2 times 90 plus epsilon, which is 180 minus 2 epsilons. If epsilon is small enough, then this would also be bigger than 90 degrees, and we have uh, three obtuse triangles. And uh, also on the other side of the diagonal, we have three obtuse triangles. Problem 4 for grade 5 students involves writing 12 numbers in a big circle so that any two numbers have difference either 2 or 3. Let me start with writing them in a straight line. So, this enables me to see their differences more clearly. And I'll connect any two of them if they want to be neighbors. Number one wants to have both neighbors 3 and 4. There are no others which have the necessary difference. Similarly, number 2 can only have neighbors 4 and 5. So these two numbers are happy. Number 4 also got its two neighbors. And number 3, notice I can't connect it with number 5 because then I will never get out of this small circle of five numbers. I must connect it with number six. Uh, let's repeat the same construction from the other end. Number 12 wants to have two neighbors, 10 and 9. 11 wants to have neighbors, 9 and 8. Also, number 10 should have another neighbor, and for similar reasons, it must not be 8, it must be 7. Uh, here I have four numbers which are not yet happy, which have only one neighbor. Number 5, I could connect it with either 7 or 8, but if I connect it with 8, then I must also connect 6 with 7, and that's not possible. So I must connect it with 7, and number 6 I must connect with 8. Now, you, uh, you can uh, write them in a big circle following these lines. I leave it uh, as an exercise. 
Let's consider another case. What happens if the difference should be either 3 or 4? I can also build the same line. And I also connect those which have their neighbors. So in this case, number one can only have neighbors four and five. Number two can have neighbors five and six. Number three can only have neighbors six and seven. Now this is happy, this and also these are happy and if I consider the largest number 12 it can also have neighbors 9 and 8 11 can only have neighbors 8 and 7 and number 10 this these are happy number 10 can have neighbors either 7 or 6. There are no other possibilities. It can have 7 and it can have 6. But here we see a contradiction because number 7 it needs to have 3 neighbors. Number 3 needs it, it as a neighbor number 10 needs it as a neighbor and number 11 needs it as a neighbor but number 7 can only have two neighbors so this is a contradiction and this case is impossible in uh, the last problem we start with a square grid and let's draw a square 7 by 7 Now let's place the corner shapes. Let's place the first shape like this and another shape opposite to that. See that I'm planning uh, to waste all this space so that no other corners have, can be placed there. I can draw the same two shapes by rotating them 90 degrees clockwise. So, it's like that. And finally, in this bottom place. Currently, I have successfully wasted lots of space. No other corners can be placed here. But I still have this plus shaped thing in the middle, so I need one more corner. And now I'm done with nine corners. Let's consider the next case. Can we do better? Can we only do with eight different corner shapes? I'll start with the same idea. Now I will place them differently. I will place them like that. And again, I'm applying rotation. Let me color all the space where there is no place for other corners. <laughs> 